What's up everybody and welcome to Board Game Burger. This is What's Cooking, our preview format for crowdfunding campaigns. And today I'm excited to talk to you about AHA, Rulers of Yucatan. In this game, players find themselves at the dawn of Mayan civilization. In AHA, players take the role of a Mayan family, seeking to extend their borders and in the game with the most points, being crowned the most powerful. Please keep in mind that everything you see in this video is a prototype and is subject to improvement. In fact, we originally filmed with an older prototype and were sent a newer prototype with deluxe components. So, you can see a great comparison of how much they've already changed. In AHA, each round begins with a movement phase in which each player chooses two cards and plays them face down. The right one represents the strength value and the left represents the region in which you wish to visit. Once all players have played their cards, it's time to reveal. Then each player places their ruler in the selected region printed on their card. If several players have decided on the same region, the strength value of the card played plus any weapons a player has will determine who takes the contested area. Losing players must move to an unoccupied region and winners move up on the war track gaining the benefits. After all rulers are in a region, the players choose one of two pyramid tiles and places it in their supply. The action phase takes place in order of the regions numbered from lowest to highest. The active player places a worker in a city connected to the region of their ruler and now has the opportunity to activate the associated god power of that city. The different god powers are as follows. With the Jaguar, you can move workers from one city to another. The Rain God allows you to collect resources. The Chief God lets you take pyramid tiles off the board or blind from the bag. The Sun God lets players take cards they have already played back into their hand, and the Feathered Serpent lets you remove workers from cities and take points for each serpent you use to activate the god. The exciting thing is that the god powers improve with each tile you've built in your temple matching the activated god, which brings us to the next phase in a player's turn. Players choose to either build or produce. When you build, you can build a tile in your temple from your supply paying the appropriate resources. Gain points for matching colors and god types placed adjacent to each other. Optionally, you could build a building paying the costs and gaining the benefits. If you pass up on building though, you can produce some resources. When producing, you take a resource tile, put it on the calendar, and receive the appropriate resources equal to the number of your own workers who are adjacent to the tile. Remember that if you activated a god power that matches the tile you have built in your temple, you gain the god's favor, which can provide provide an immediate point bonus and points at the end of the round. Each epoch or round ends as soon as there are enough resource tiles on the calendar and this varies depending upon the number of players. Now is the time to see who has gained the favor of the gods. Depending on the god, one point per resource, combat strength, pyramid tiles, building costs, or occupied cities. All from the player with the most. So you score points based on who has the most temple tiles built, rather than scoring for what you have built. Clever, isn't it? It's like taking the most delicious food from my wife's plate while she's not looking. The game ends after three epochs or when a player has completed their pyramid. Then begins final scoring. Players receive five points for each city where they have the most workers along with normal scoring conditions. As far as components go, this game is well made and I know that the designers have already improved the artwork. It looks amazing, but I'd still like to see some original art for each of the tribal leaders. Maybe as a stretch goal? Hmm? I look forward to seeing what other changes are made throughout the campaign, but as far as gameplay goes, Ahau is a treasure. I like the area control combined with the action selection through the gods, and I'm enamored with the upgraded god cards you earn through building your temple. They're all so powerful, like my desire for bacon cheeseburgers. But what I like most is the varying modular point bonuses from the gods' favor. It's so clever that players gain points based upon other players' success. This provides an excellent tension when selecting what tiles to build in your temple, because you can only receive the favor of gods if you activate a god power that matches the tiles already in your temple. I also really appreciate the extra booklet giving historical background on a how and I think it's awesome that the designer of this game was inspired to make a game based upon the Aztec theme because of seeing the Aztec temples in Star Wars. A man after my own heart. I recommend this game to anyone who likes the Aztec or Mayan theme, area control, action selection, and games with elegant mechanisms that fit so well together they melt perfectly like beef bacon and cheese. This game will be a great crowdfunding project for you to back early in the year, so click the link in the description and show them some support. I will definitely see you there. If this video was helpful for you in making a decision or you found it maybe a little entertaining, like and subscribe and don't forget to share it with a friend. As always, stay hungry for more board games, my friends.